J'utilise le désodorisant et le nettoyant pour le corps Old Spice. Et maintenant... You get through pick bands, blue team has been Morgana, Oriana, Lucian, and the purple team is Worcester, Lee Sin, Akali, and Aurelia. Interesting, Worcester has opted for Vi, not really in the meta right now, but still quite a viable pick. Oh. So maybe we could get some Camp Select cool music in here. Oh boy. Cord, you're hovering Tristan and Fresh right now, and they locked them in. Well, apparently, it's not an Akali ban, it's actually an Ari ban, but they fat fingered. Still, Akali's strong. Boy Boy likes Akali. So as we go through pick bands, they pick Kha'Zix, Worcester picks Corky Jana, quite a strong bot line. That's me, and Gloria picks Nar. Interesting to see how Nar will synergize with Kha'Zix and Tristana, both, both of the recent champs plus Nar engage. It should be quite a spectacular fight starter. It looks like Worcester's gonna round out their comp with Zed or Pantheon. Don't tempt me with Pantheon. I know he's a baker. What? Oh, and they go with Pantheon. Is this a Pantheon mid lane? Is this the god himself, Sty Guy, going Pantheon mid? Oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Syndra versus Pantheon is gonna be quite an interesting matchup. So we're going to have a bit of spectator delay as well as in-game delay for three minutes. So a total of four minutes, four and a half minutes actually. So we might actually just play some music from the League of Legends World Championship and the stream will be back right after we get out of spectator delay. So stay tuned.
Nobody heard that. And we're back. Rearrange the stuff. There we go. So on the red side we have Vortex and on the blue side we have Concordia University. Slurpee face checks the bush, it's gonna end really poorly for Slurpee unless you can get away. Nope. First blood goes to Warchester. So Warchester is gonna continue hovering the bottom of the map. Wow. Cordia hovers around blue uh, red side on the blue side jungle. The war is getting the better of the level 1 since they have more deep wards plays and as well as the first blood. But in gang takes quite a good trade against Nighthawks Maokai. Many under his Sorry about the alt tab, just getting things in order. Concordia right now is aware that their blue buff is awarded, so they're starting on the red side, on their buff side. Bai is also free to decide where she starts her jungle, since they know where Kha'Zix is starting right now.
So mid lane is gonna be very awkward for Syndra since Pantheon is just gonna constantly spear her and as well as block auto attacks from the grass. Lowest rank on the team is gold. Syndra takes a good trade, but again, Pantheon passive is just fully in lane to Syndra. So, pretty expected jungle start. Three dimensional, no invades. Puzzled again takes a favorable trade, but again gets denied the auto attack by Pantheon passive. Looks like there's going to be a clash. Top lane Kha'Zix coming in. Just farm some minions. There we see how strong Mega Nar is. His base attack damage is so high. No fudge. Attacking. Going in on Vi. Gets the slow. Gets the Q. Forces the flash. Actually quite a good favorable trade for Concordia, but now Pantheon is on his way up. But instead, good ward from Puzzled, showing that Pantheon was on his way up. No fudge, actually seen by this ward, is Pantheon gonna react, stuns him, and they get the stun? Nope. Pantheon lives to see another bakery. Gold is currently slightly ahead for Warchester, but with an easy dragon, Cordy can pull this back by coming in top. Gets the root onto Ingangs. His Nar is going to go down. And that's up 2 0 for Warchester. They take a 1k gold lead at 5 minutes. This looks like a bad day for Syndra. She gets ignited, flashed on, queued, and she goes down as well. Things are not looking good early on for Concordia. Fresh lands the hook. That was actually really nice. I didn't expect that to land. And trying to use the directed camera is not working out too well. Pantheon again can seems to be bullying Syndra out of lane early. Nar versus Maokai is what you'd expect it to be. Battle of tanks for the most part. Nar getting his mega form over and over. Now we see how Maokai is just so strong right now. His passive as where he healed as well as his ultimate. Being on such a low cooldown, you can give him such favorable trades. 
with relatively no risk. Seven minute mark. Orchester actually has four words on the ground compared to Concordia's only two. Always wards is telltale sign of who's winning the game. Generally the most wards on the map will win the game. Unless you're behind. Because then no matter how many wards, but it might not save you from disaster. There's quite a lot in the game right now. No fight just uh, no fight just farming creeps. Oh, bot lane takes some um, semi-dangerous trades. Corky's running out of mana, so that might be a point of contention shortly. You know, lands the sun on Pantheon, ults him. Pantheon might need to be, but Vi is also looming, but so is Kha'Zix. For something that's happened here shortly. Vi's actually just gonna do her red. Gordia knows this. So are we gonna see an invade? And no fudge actually does not get it, but Vi is cornered. Stunned. And they get the kill. I did get credit one day. Are they gonna be able to get a green kill back on Pantheon? No fudge gets the kill again. It's a good sign we bring it back. 3 to 2. Only 500 gold behind, which is minimal considering how early game uh, Worcester's team is. The top lane, Nara seems to be ramping up fine. Currently has a 20 CS lead over Maokai. Mid lane, Syndra's currently down, but her late game is much stronger than the Pantheon's will be. And the bot lane is unfortunately down 10 CS. So it goes in on Syndra. It's altered away. Pulled by Thresh. Great play to disengage from the dragon. But it looks like Worcester now has the upper hand, unless no fudge can miracle smite steal. Nope. My game is in Korean for some reason. Not quite sure why. So with that dragon, Worcester moves back into the 1.5k gold lead. Looks like they're looking for a potential invade on red, but it is no longer there. Or they're actually going for a dive, it's really bad to flirt. Bye is gonna actually land the Q on Thresh. Will they live? Nope. Thresh goes down. Anything can Thresh can do? Nope. So if anyone wants to be a co-caster, just, I guess, write in chat if you have a good microphone or not, because I'm quite lonely. Very lonely boy. So red team right now is currently collapsing on mid lane. So this spell disaster for Syndra actually with a very smooth flash gets out of there. Still alive. Nar versus Maokai, again. Is like two guys slapping each other with pool noodles and a big rock. Nara gets the kill. Three to four. Concord is still 2k behind, but they seem to be getting the upper hand in trades and small skirmishes. To get your game in Korean, actually, it's a program on Reddit uh, I found. That it's just a program that downloads. Bye goes. In on Syndra, doesn't seem to get anything out of it. 
coming back around. Concordia seems to have gotten the better trade actually of that. So pro that the game changes itself to Korean. Yes, I like that. We are so on such another level that the game is like, we'll make you honorary Koreans. They're SKTK caliber. And Cordy looking to get this, but Corky does not see them. They spot out Vi. Are they gonna turn? Actually, they turn on Maokai. That's not who you want to hook. But Corky seems to be quite caught out here, and it's... Is he gonna get dropped? Actually does get dropped. No fudge, still alive. Four to four. Even up in kills, but still one and a half K behind since... Worcester got that dragon, by a little while ago. The vision's still in favor of Worcester, but... We're again winning the small skirmishes. And now coming in top lane. Nari just gonna smack him around. Gets the alt off on the wall. But nothing left to do there. Interesting here, Kukor is gonna give red buff to the ABC, even though he's 0 2. Not sure if I agree with that or not, while Kazakhs is 3 0. But it could pay off. Your boy. Kind of just gonna keep farming. Corky seems to be on an adventure. Just gonna farm out that mid lane. SKT doesn't even matter anymore. And Gang's getting the trade off of Maokai. Does he have vision? Transforms into Meganar, drops him. So again, we're winning the smaller trades. So it was very dangerous for Dewey, and he gets instantly deleted by Vikeel. Oh, bot lane is switched. Did not notice this. Alright, so it's the A button, guys. I figured it out. I figured it out. Syndra going to get ulted by Vi. Teleport coming in from Maokai. Beautiful disengage by Triss with the ult. Essentially, looking for the dragon trade. Misses the hook. This is looking quite bad. We're getting the better trade on Samalkai. In Gangs is still running. He's gonna get his Mega Gnar next transform. Gets the stun off. Gets the ultimate. Gets the kill. Needs to be some split focus. Get the kill off. Will he get the reset? Jump away. No. That is a quadra kill for Corky. This is getting really bad quickly for Concordia. And it looks like they're gonna get the dragon out of this by some quick Janna shields. That was actually a f four for one. No, three for three, four for three in favor of Worcester University, and they now take a 5k gold lead at the 17 minute mark. 
Only being up two kills. Sweep out some wars right now from the bottom side to regain control of that dragon area. That's two dragons in the favor of Worcester. Fight was way split out that last time around. It looks like they're collapsing on top. Three people of red side are top lane. Get the kill off Maokai. No fudge is gonna live just barely. Will Ingang be able to turn? No, he will not. The Heartseeker Spear just does way too much damage right now with the zero armor of Narn. Revive goes in on Syndra. Hexdrinker saves Pantheon's life. Vi still tanking Turk, can no fudge do anything? Not really. Way too low on Kha'Zix to go in on that. Fortress are gonna pick up the top tier one. Add to so there's three turrets already taken, so they have taken all the tier one so far. Yo, I want Trick 2G. Yo, I want Trick 2G to commentate. Can we afford that in the budget? Can we, can we get tricked? <laughs> also get Rito Spectator, Lion. I do not know how this works so far. Ward in the side bush, spawning out the entire Ward team as they rotate down mid. We might want to pick up another one or two sweepers. Throws the rock at Jana. But he, she unfortunately does not smell what he's cooking. Of course, you're trying to get the tier 1 mid, but just the Jana shield is really strong right now. Especially since she has an Aether Whist looking towards possibly a Lich Man? Or Morello Nomicon, I would assume. Worcester takes the tier 2 mid. This is not looking good right now for Concordia. Find mouth type. Team fight breaks out. Thresh gets altered. Still, Syndra's still alive. Out of position. And Flurp survives this onslaught of damage. Is coming out. Gets rocketed. Corky is legendary. Another three for one in favor of Warden. Of course, going to be looking to turtle this one out. Try and get a pick. Dragon is up in a minute 20. So, Fortress is actually looking to sweep any remaining vision out. The Concordia has of that area and probably go back and look for a fight in the next minute or so. <laughs> Actually, might get rid of the one minute delay because. Yes. Actually, gets an Arden sensor, so you were wrong, Jesus.
Janna going with the art is not an item we see very much. Just because it isn't very gold efficient for money you pay for it. But in a game like this where they're already snowballing, I can see it having its advantages. Where he just keeps getting caught out over and over in small corners. Nor lands a four man all that's actually really nice. He flirt jumps straight in. He gets popped instantly. In Gang's doing his best to soak up all the damage. Jumps over the wall. Syndra is still over there fighting Maokai. Beautiful stun. Just deny the re-engage. Actually, small Nar does not want to go and fight big Maokai. Like they're gonna pick up the dragon right now. Uncontested. They get their third uncontested dragon of the game. Currently up 9k at 23 minutes. Fortissa, you might be looking towards Baron right now, but I think they want to avoid the XDG style throws. Arden Sensor confirmed best item on Saint Stream, guys. If they lose, it's because Jana went Arden Sensor. <laughs> She's going Phoenix Codex too, so Jana goes hard in the paint. We're gonna see a team fight right here. Four people down bottom. We're stealing four. Money 47, welcome to the stream, Money 7, 47. And uh, God bless you, man. Best of three. Quarry currently not able to do much but sit at their inner tier turrets. And looks like Pantheon coming in. Vibe's gonna land the alt on Syndra. Everything going down on Syndra and she gets deleted. Split focus over here. Tristana can't get away from the damage. Corky gets a double kill and in the top lane, Nara is fighting Maokai. So let's go back to bot lane. Where they're pushing the tier one inner tier three actually two. Actually, if Concordia is able to get a pick right now, maybe on Corky or Pantheon, they could potentially move towards Baron and try and get themselves into the, read back into the game with this. But it looks like they're just gonna farm out some creeps, clear out some vision that Fortress is laid down, and try and push back onto the first middle lane turret. Maybe looking towards 
game two, the quarter should go with a more early game centered composition, as did Worcester, because right now Corky is just massively, massively ahead of anyone else. Fortress are getting all the deep wards. Currently Guardian Angel on Corky at 28 minutes. Even if they do manage to get on him, they're gonna have to kill him twice. So, not looking too good right now. 10k gold up for Warchester. Kha's expanding that laugh. He knows what's up. BM and lost as in the deep five goes in up to Tana. Yes. Uh, hiding backwards. Kazakh can't seem to find any damage. Corky just too strong right now, zoning everyone out with the rockets. And they'll take bottom in hip. Are they looking to end? By maybe getting a bit overzealous? But they do have the minion wave. Better be rotate up top and take middle first. Three man stun popping the head drinker on by actually. We get flash cued and unfortunately drop instantly. Just way too much damage coming out of this portion of the game. Better get the hook on the Malachi, but just too too tanky to do anything. Kha'Zix is going to get dropped as well, or not. Nara gets his Mega Form, keeping him alive. Just still, four for one, uh, 3 for 1. Two very low people, Lada Concordia. It is no good right now. 0 0 19. Janna has assisted all but 6 kills. Wow. Pick up their fourth dragon of the game. Fourth uncontested dragon of the game. Eight turrets to 13k up. Where it may be done like dinner for this game. Could be looking towards game two, so what do they actually ban? Do they want to deny the Vi again? Was the Vi something that was overbearing? Or just the Corky early game just really, really strong versus Tristana. Especially a late game oriented champion like Tristana that has a slightly rough time in lane. Versus an already lane bully plus the AD steroid from Janna's shield. I think Concordia might be looking towards removing Corky next game. Red team takes an uncontested Baron, even while it was warded. Concordia can do much. Look at that. 22 out of 5, yes, that is also something. Maokai wasn't really a factor. This their mid laner seems to be going ham this game. Like they're gonna push towards the top turret. I can't take off the mini man. We're trying to desperately defend this tier 3. There's so much clear coming out of Worcester. Since <laughs> you're throwing the super minion.
<laughs> Narbot boots. God bless. Cinder gets the sun, flashes out. Pantheon coming in through the Zarya to avoid the damage. Still just way, way, way too much damage coming out of Pantheon. Gets the ult off. Too much chaos. Kazu gets the reset. Gets rooted by Malachi. Jumps away again. Still gets taken down. Naran Thread trying to defend the Nexus, but unfortunately there's way too much damage, so this looks like it's gonna be game one going to Warchester if they decide to end the game and not the end. They're still looking for kills. Game one goes to Warchester.